deadly crashes, huge amounts of truck traffic and not enough lanes. Those are the complaints that drivers have every day about Interstate 81, but there are solutions to make it safer and more reliable. No one wants to sit on the interstate stuck for hours. When people complain, what is the top complaint about 81? Uh, it, it's safe. I, I think that a lot of people are scared to drive on the 81. The safety wise on this interstate is ridiculous. Do you ever feel like you're not safe? Yes. What are the biggest problems that we're seeing with Interstate 81 that you are working to fix? Well, it's really twofold. The first one here is, is on my lapel, and that's safety. So that is our primary objective, is making Interstate 81 as safe as we possibly can with the money that, that is available to us. And the second is reducing congestion. And those two things are really closely tied. You know, safety issues create congestion, congestion creates safety. So if we can solve those two problems in our top 20% problematic areas along Interstate 81, it will make a big impact. I'm Dave Covington, VDOT's I-81 Program Delivery Director. Exit 128. Back in 2018, when we kicked off the I-81 Corridor Improvement Plan, which was a study to look at the entirety of I-81 to determine what can we do to make improvements to drive down crashes and reduce congestion. We looked at a lot of data. Where are the crash hotspots? Where do we have recurring congestion? Came up with a bunch of concepts and shared that with the public through a series of 12 public meetings and came up with a suite of projects that we can deliver and that we can afford. We are at the exit 140 interchange right now. We're going to get on I-81 and drive south. Okay, so as far as I can see down the interstate here, it's all a work zone. Yes, and you notice all the work is in the median. So what we've done is we've shifted everybody to the outside. We went in, strengthened the shoulders, pushed everybody to the outside, put in the barrier wall. So it is a significant work zone, a lot of activity right now. The suite of projects that we're delivering right now is valued at around $2.7 billion. Uh, and there's another two to $3 billion worth of identified projects that haven't even been brought into the program yet, but will over time. Is this the biggest project you've ever taken on? Um, I think programmatically, yeah, from a dollar value perspective. How often do you drive 81? Every day. What do you think about the interstate? Uh, the road construction is the worst part of the interstate. What do you think all this construction is going to do? Do you think it's going to help? I'm, I'm hoping that will. Yeah, I'm hoping it would help big time because, like I said, we definitely need more lanes or something because it's amount of traffic. It's crazy. Our operational projects are really broad. I mean, we had a, a lot of projects that we knew we would have good return on investment that we could deliver pretty quickly. So we've added 30 additional digital message signs along the corridor. We've added more than 50 additional cameras, which help our traffic operations centers identify issues on the interstate so we can respond more quickly. Do you feel safe on 81? Not particularly but only because there's a lot of traffic and it's only two lanes. Hopefully they extend it, more lanes, give us more lanes. Some parts move, some parts kind of busy. I'm a truck driver, so. I think there's a lot of trucks. Talk to me about the trucks. Um, never in the correct lane. Yeah, big trucks almost never in their lane. Make me mad. Two things make 81 unique, the mountains and curves and the huge number of trucks. There are more than 2,000 crashes every year. One in four involve heavy trucks, the highest percentage for any interstate in Virginia. And some are deadly. 141 people died on Interstate 81 over the last five years. So the first thing that we've done as part of our operational projects is deploy a TRIP program, which is a towing and recovery incentive program, which incentivizes our towing operators to mobilize quickly, clear crashes quickly. And we've seen positive results on that. But when we do have a single or multiple tractor trailer crash, we generally have to shut down the whole interstate in that direction. With a third lane, and a full width shoulder, a lot of times we're able to keep the interstate open while we do the recovery of the, the truck crash. 
I-81 carries the, the highest percentage of truck traffic of any interstate uh, in Commonwealth of Virginia. We have to account for that in the design. When people are driving this close to a tractor trailer, it makes people nervous, especially if they're in a small vehicle. Um, just the sheer size difference in, in knowing what can happen. The thing that people have to remember is that the truck drivers are also counting on the interstate to be safe and reliable. I mean, it's their livelihood, it's their job. When we have those areas where we know trucks can't maintain 60, 65, 70 mile per hour speed limits, climbing those grades, that's where we're installing the truck climbing lanes. So separating those slower moving vehicles, restricting them to the right lane so that they can climb the grade at 40, 45 miles per hour, while passenger vehicles can continue in the center and left lane uh, to do the speed limit. Will this work? Yeah, it will. I mean, it, and it really boils down to, we use the data-driven process to determine what projects and what areas. Uh, we involved the public and got feedback on the projects so we were able to adjust uh, we're not just taking an engineering look at it, but we're, we're getting people's personal perspectives. But if you think about the types of projects that we're delivering, it really makes a lot of sense. Talk to me about the limitations. Not everything's perfect, so obviously there are some, some bumps along the road, right? Yeah, one of the problems is, is that Interstate 81 is 325 miles long in Virginia. We focused on the top 20% of problematic areas, specifically with regard to crashes and congestion, and identified those areas for improvement. I think that taking care of the so-called hotspots will really make a big difference. The smart thing is, is that we did look at data. We used data to develop the solutions. So we look at crash data, we look at congestion data, so that we know that we're making a good investment with the taxpayer dollars. Solutions for making Interstate 81 safer, adding more lanes, more signs, and easier ways to get off when there's a backup, meaning you don't have to sit still on the interstate, stopped for hours when there's a crash. Stay up to date with our latest Solutionaries videos. Hit subscribe and leave us a comment below.